Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got a dev diary for you today and it's kind of an announcement of my next big VR project I'm calling Gravity Garden. Uh, some of you who have been following me for a while uh, may have seen some dev diaries about Xenofarm and uh, those are basically kind of the prototype for this game. You know, I started Xenofarm several years ago and then uh, got caught up experimenting with VR, making Crash Lander, and Chunky Orbits, and then uh, I wanted to come back to the idea of Xenofarm, but I wanted to do it in VR, so uh, I, I kind of needed to start over and do it from the ground up to make sure it worked well in VR, so I've, I've done that, so everything here is kind of new since the last dev diary I did for Xenofarm. It's all redesigned, recoded, kind of reimagined the whole thing to work well in VR. And it's going pretty well, you know, uh, when you get to redo something like this, you kind of get a fresh start and everything kind of tightens up a bit. You know, the plants are more efficient. I got a better handle on uh, some of the systems that I've created to use all this. And uh, I'm really excited about the progress I've been making. So I wanted to kind of show it off and uh, start getting some feedback from players, get it into some players hands and uh, see what they think about all this madness. So Gravity Garden is going to be a kind of an open world sandbox game, um, a sci-fi farming simulation where your goal is to just kind of survive and thrive on your little island here by planting plants, caring for them, harvesting their fruits, and then turning around and going through that process again. Uh, you'll be able to use those fruits to gather up kind of the currencies for the game. Um, you can turn them into food for yourself or nutrients for the soil or replant them to make more plants or um, turn them into energy to power your farm and buy new equipment, things like that. So you'll be free to just kind of goof around and do nothing if you want. Just plant plants, goof around and uh, have some fun. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you'll be able to go after the kind of uh, challenges that I put forth, kind of achievement-based challenges. You'll be able to go searching around this uh, strange environment for little alien artifacts, and maybe finding new plants, um, new decorations for your home base, and uh, things like that. And it'll also be a small uh, survival element, kind of light survival element, where you do have to grow enough food uh, and energy to kind of survive and thrive in this environment. That will be optional as well. So I think that's a good way to kind of offer up different gameplay for different uh, people's uh, preferences. And I, I kind of like the achievement-based gameplay because it, it kind of mixes things up while you play and uh, lets you make your own goals and go after what you want at the time. Um, so let's see. Since it's VR, I kind of had to decide on the locomotion methods, and uh, I'm really going to do my best to make everybody happy, at least uh, w uh, without making a huge mess of everything. So uh, we'll have first-person controls, uh, like classic first-person controls, and I've got those here on the sticks or trackpads with uh, move on the left, turn on the right. Um, also, it's kind of got, I guess, onward styles, what most people will refer to it as, where you can point your hand to change which direction you're moving. And that makes things more comfortable for people, it seems like. But um, if you don't like that, we've got teleport built in, uh, kind of your standard teleport with uh, uh, you can change the direction you're facing when you do teleport. And this is just programmer art, of course, um, kind of a mix right now between programmer art and uh, stuff that I'll be using in the final game. And I also want to add as many comfort options as possible, like the ratchet turning or um, uh, sp different speeds for you to move or the tunnel vision effect, things like that. So I'll put as many of those as I can in as well. I want to try to make it as comfortable as possible for everybody. I also have this uh, uh, gravity belt. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it a gravity belt. Kind of a different way to move around in 3D space that I've been testing out. Um, I'm working on a gravity belt. So basically you just grab a point in space and then pull your hand back and around to change the direction of the thrust and the amount of thrust that you have going. So 
um, it, it seems to work really well. And this is one of the main things I want to get feedback for right away is if people like this method or if I should pursue something else for moving around in 3D space. I really like it personally. It, uh, it, it works very well. Um, so what's in the game right now? Uh, there's not much game in the game, but the simulation has come along very well. I've, I've got like seven or eight different plants that you can plant. Got some cosmic corn. We got some poly grass. We got some bamboo, y'all. And all of these plants have a life cycle where they uh, grow, bear fruit, die, and respawn um, all in a nice little life cycle, and all depending on their surroundings. Uh, so the, how much water is in the soil, how many nutrients are in the soil, what sort of plants are next to them, how many plants are next to them. So this plant right here is about 90% healthy. It's nice and healthy, so it should produce uh, three fruits uh, when it gets to its fruiting stage if it stays that healthy uh, This corn over here is only kind of half healthy. So it only produced one fruit So if you want to produce a lot of fruit to get more energy and more stuff uh, To grow you need to care for your plants properly and make sure they're healthy and happy And that'll be one of the main challenges of the game is trying to figure out What the plants like and uh, what what environments they like what plants they need to be next to things like that and that would be also going to be one of the main challenges for coding this thing is balancing all that so uh, that they all work together in harmony and make for some fun challenging interactions so we've got a good start on it but it's, that'll be a process that goes through the whole development process I, that's not something i don't think i could design ahead of time i just have to get a feel for it and see how it comes out um there'll also be uh besides farming in the game uh and the other main aspect of the gameplay will be exploring um this environment uh as time goes by different things will float in and out of your uh, little universe here and you can go out and explore them we'll walk around on these islands plant plants like I did on that other island and maybe even if I can figure out how to do it gather up different islands and make your farm area larger uh, by gathering together different plots of land and spacing them about your area so um, exploring finding new plants maybe you'll find um, some decorations or something for your farm maybe I'm going to have a series of like alien artifacts that you can uh, try to collect and I know the completionists types will like that whether they'll be able to find every single one or not um and there'll also be like a traders who come by every once in a while to uh trade you energy for different uh, upgraded tools or new plants that you haven't seen uh, decorations for your farm things like that and the tools might be something like um where is that thing? Oh, it's up here. Like this little thing will produce a cloud that goes out and waters your crops occasionally. So you don't have to constantly be checking um, on your plants to see how much water they have. So yeah, there's a, a first look at Gravity Garden. Uh, if it looks like something you're interested in and you want to help support my development efforts, go over to brainblinks.com and find the link to my itch.io page. I've got a kind of crowdfunding slash alpha version up there that you can buy right now and uh, that'll help support my development efforts and uh, give you an early look at the game you'll get instant access to the alpha and uh, new versions every month as i work on the game and you'll be able to help me make the game by offering your feedback uh, ideas uh, tell me what you'd like to see in the game and I'm going to use the suggestions from the players and the community to help guide the rest of my development efforts as I um, finish, uh, flesh out the game and finish it. So um, I really like using itch.io for this because they have a really cool set of tools. I think they call them the refinery um, where you can kind of pick and choose uh, like Kickstarter style rewards 
or uh, different pricing schemes, uh, different ways to access the game. And it, it's working out really well. They've really built a great system over at uh, itch.io for both developers and gamers. Uh, their game client is super slick now. And it even lets me um, update the game by just uploading the differences between the new version and the previous version, which uh, I know a lot of people love who have a limited bandwidth. So anyway, yeah, if you want to help support the game and uh, this looks like something you'd enjoy, head on over to Brain Blinks, uh, get in on the crowdfunding and uh, alpha version and uh, get in there, plant some plants and uh, let me know what you think. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll check you next time. Bye.